Hello guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can talk with your control logics with your MicroLogics processor. On my right side, I'm online with my MicroLogics 1400 processor, which is Series B. And on my left side, I have my Control Logic 1756 L61 processor. And I'm online with both of my PLCs right now. I don't have any program right now here because I don't need any program. So I'm just pulling data and throwing data from my from my MicroLogics. So the first one I have here is a string. We're gonna talk about string in the end. First, we're gonna start with binary. So when I toggle my binary bit, as you can see, it's communicating. I want to show you one more thing right, because I forced it here. One, okay. What I'm doing in here, I am pulling B3 colon zero data from my controls logics, and I am pulling two elements. So the size of the element is two, which is going to be 32 bits. So if I toggle this bit, as soon as I'm going to pull this, my bit is shutting off right away because on my number second, which is my bit number two over here, is zero here. If I'm gonna turn it on, and now it's gonna start pulling and it's gonna keep pulling now. So let's go to the binary table. Okay. Now, if I'm gonna make changes in bit number zero here, as you can see, it's gonna change right away here. And let's say I want to do the 15th. There's going to be 15 over here. I want to change one. It will change right over here. So that way you can pull your binary from your control logics PLC. And next one is we have float read and write. What I'm doing here, oops, on float side, I am using one for the read, one for the write. So this one I'm writing. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just say write, hit enter, and it's gonna be my read. So I can recognize them. Then I'm gonna hit my read, toggle it, and as you can see, I'm reading it from my Control logics PLC. So if I put anything here 2.5, I will get 2.5 here right away. If I put here 125.56, I will get value right away here because I'm reading from my control logics. Or now let's write something. I'm gonna use now this bit, this uh, float value. And I'm throwing that in here now. I'm using the exact same uh, tag to read, but in the float side, I'm using this float address zero as my reference now. If I'm gonna change anything here, 120.56, it will go there now. If I put 33.33, .33, it will go right there. So that way I'm pulling my float and integer exactly the same way. If I'm going to expand my integer, an integer value in my micro logics, as you can see, 2535 is pulling here. If I put zero, it will become zero right away. There you go. The reason 6969 is go not going there because I'm only pulling the size of two in elements. So only these two elements are going there that's what i am throwing not playing it i'm writing it to the other one and what else is left in the string there you go so with the string so when you want to pull the string from here to there then it's a different uh, setup you can do that too but right now i'm writing to the other processor I'm go to string. I'll write down here something 
hello YouTube and I hit enter here it will go there right away there you go hello YouTube so you can write any string as well from your micro logics to your controls logics with message instruction that's all about it in this video i'm gonna see you in next video thank you very much guys